Hey boys and girls, this is Dean Jacobs. Normally I like to visit you in person at school, but with the current situation, I haven't been able to do that. But that doesn't mean I've stopped thinking about you. For 17 years in my school programs, I have talked about on the other side of that wall of fear, there is a whole world waiting to be explored. And if we let that wall of fear stop us, it traps us into a what? A small box, right? And once again, we are faced with something that wants to trap us into a small box. Are we supposed to live in little boxes? No, and you already know that. We're supposed to stretch and blow those boxes up by dreaming big and living tall to make the world better. And what's our symbol for making the world better? Thumbs up. So let me see those thumbs. Awesome. See, remember, dreams are not for special people. They are for everybody. And that includes each and every one of you. Because I know you like animals, I made this special video for you just to support your love of exploring the world. So let's go explore with Dee. Hey boys and girls, this is Dean Jacobs. Welcome to another episode of Explore with Dean. I have traveled all over the world to explore animals and I'm really excited to share with you five animals I've seen where I live in Nebraska. So if you like animals, you're in the right place. So who likes animals? The first animal I'm excited to share with you is the turtle. Turtles are reptiles, which means they have scales. Their shell is considered to be a scale. I call it the original mobile home. Turtles like to eat bugs and worms and plants. They come in all kinds of sizes, from really small to really big. Some turtles live in the water, like this painted turtle, while others, they live in the land, like this box turtle behind me, which also happens to be the Nebraska State reptile. Turtles lay eggs that will eventually hatch into baby turtles. This box turtle behind me, I actually found him on my brother's ranch when I was working there. Look at that beautiful shell, that tan and that brown. These guys actually have claws on their feet that allow them just to go through the, go through the grass. So you see there, you'll see he's got his claws there. That helps him navigate around the land and that beautiful shell that helps protect him. So let's have a thumbs up for the turtles. Awesome. <laughs> The next animal is the fish. Fish live in water like rivers and lakes. They have a very special part of their body called gills that allows them to breathe in the water. They have fins and a tail that help them swim through the water. Fish like to eat bugs, worms, and sometimes other small fish. They lay eggs and hatch into baby fish. Now the, the Nebraska state fish happens to be the channel catfish, like this one right behind me. Check out this amazing catfish here. I got to see him at the Nebraska State Fair. You can see the fins and you, oops, you can see, you can see the fins and the tail over there, which is really cool, right? So he's got all the things that we just talked about. So let's have a thumbs up for the fish. Awesome. The next animal is a bird, like this western meadowlark, the Nebraska state bird. Birds often build nests where they lay eggs. Those eggs hatch into baby birds. Different birds eat different things like seeds, bugs, worms, and fish. Birds have a couple of things that make them special. They have beaks and they have feathers. Feathers help them fly. One of my favorite birds is the bald eagle. It is the, one of the symbols of our nation. It can have a wingspan of up to seven feet. And behind me, I have this eagle flying through the sky. I saw him just the other day. So put out your arms and let's go flying with the eagles. How cool would that be? <laughs> oh yeah, nothing but blue sky hanging out with the eagles. Whoa. So let's have a thumbs up for the birds. Awesome. The next animal is the white-tailed deer. Deer live in forests and fields. They are mammals, so they give birth to live baby deer. They like to eat grass and plants. In the winter, they like to eat tiny branches. Mm, doesn't sound very good to me. They can weigh up to 300 pounds, and they have a small tail that waves like a white flag when they sense danger. And male deer, they grow antlers. 
that can get really big as they grow older. Now, I had a chance to hang out with a white-tailed deer like this one back here on my brother's ranch. How cool is that? It was moving around through the forest. And look at what else is hanging out with that deer. What do you see in the background? What do you think that is? <laughs> if you guess turkey, you guess right. So let's have a thumbs up for the white-tailed deer. Awesome. The next animal is the coyote. Coyotes are very smart and are in the canine family or dogs. They can weigh up to 44 pounds. They like to eat deer, rabbits, rodents, birds, reptiles, amphibians, fish, and bugs, which means they pretty much eat everything. They are mammals, so they give birth to baby coyotes, and they live everywhere in the countryside and even in the urban areas or towns. Cool. Did you hear that? Oh, that was neat. One of my favorite sounds in the countryside at night is a coyote singing to the moon. And I got to hang out with this coyote behind me. He was on my brother's ranch. He was walking down the fence line. He's walking right towards me now, which is really cool, except he doesn't know I'm here, right? And he was looking for mice and things. Such a beautiful wild animal right where we live. So let's have a thumbs up for the coyote. So of all the animals we explored in Nebraska, which one was your favorite? Was it the turtle with its mobile home? Was it the fish with its gills and tail? Was it the bird that can fly? Was it the white-tailed deer with its cool tail? Or was it the coyote with its beautiful call? Awesome. Now let's go ahead and draw it. Let's grab a piece of paper, a pencil, and some crayons and draw your favorite animal where you live. Once you are done, let's show it to our parents and teachers. And when you share with them, Tell them why it's your favorite animal. Have fun with your drawings. I'm sure they will love seeing them. We live in an incredible world, boys and girls. So the next time you go outside to explore, I hope you find all kinds of amazing animals where you live. Thank you for joining me on this episode of Explore with Dean. Until the next time, continue to dream big, live tall, and make the world better. All right, thank you for exploring with me. For those who want to continue learning more about animals, I'm giving away the e-version of my award-winning animal book, Wondrous Creatures. A $20 value for free. It's an Apple product, so if you own an iPhone, an iPad, or a MacBook, you're in luck. All you have to do is go to my website, deanjacobs.org, fill out the form, and I'll send you a link to download the book for free, just to support your learning adventure in these challenging times. There are more videos coming, so if you like this one, make sure to sign up for my newsletter or follow me on Facebook, Dean Jacobs Adventures, or on Instagram and Twitter at Explore Dean. Until the next time, continue to be safe, be smart, and be the good. Thumbs up.